Hello friends, I am Sanjay Gupta. In this video, I am going to discuss a program which is to read a string and print uh, uh, counting of uppercase letter, lowercase letters, digits and spatial symbols. So objective of the program is written in the first statement with the help of comment. Then uh, header file stdr.h is included for printf, scanf, getf functions. Then main function is used which contains various uh, statements in which First is a string declaration, then second statement is integer variable declaration. Then I have used printf statement to print a message on console, enter a string. Then getS function is used, it will read the string which is entered by the user and all the characters will be stored inside str uh, variable. Now this for loop is used to find out uh, how many uppercase, how many lowercase, how many digits and how many spatial symbols are available in a string. So you all know that uh, uh, when a uh, loop is used for any kind of array, it starts from zero because index of the uh, array uh, be uh, begins with zero. So i is initialized with zero, then condition str of i not equals to zero. So this condition is because uh, each string contains null character at the end of it. So I am checking that whether str of i is equals to null or not. So if it is not equals to null, then only this loop will repeat, otherwise it will be terminated. So first time if str of 0 is not equals to null, then this first if condition will be checked. It is checking that uh, whether str of, str of 0 position contains a character whose ASCII value is greater than equals to 65 and less than equals to 90. If uh, this condition is true, then c1 will be uh, increased by 1. It means the uh, zeroth index uh, contains the character uh, which is uppercase letter. So 65 and 90 uh, is the range for uppercase letters. So if this condition is true, then C1 will be in uh, incremented. Otherwise, else will be executed. And after else, another if is mentioned, it is checking for lowercase letter. So here ASCII codes are 97 to 122. So if this condition is true, then C2 will be incremented by 1. Otherwise, after this else, another if condition is there. It is uh, checking for digits and ASCII values are 48 to 57. So if uh, the index contain a character which is uh, whose ASCII value is between 48 to 57, then the C3 plus plus will be executed. And if all these uh, conditions are false, then lastly c4 plus plus will be executed and it is indicating that the character is spatial symbol so this loop will repeat till this condition is true if condition is false then uh, the loop will be terminated and after termination of this loop there are four printfs are available uh, first printf will be displaying uppercase letters quantity with the help of c1 second printf will be displaying lowercase quantity with the help of c2 Third printf is displaying quantity of digits with the help of C3 and fourth printf is displaying quantity of spatial symbol with the help of C4. So after counting uh, quantities of uppercase, lowercase, digits and spatial symbols with the help of for loop, these printf will display the output on console. You can write single printf statement instead of these four printf statements. So after this explanation, I am first compiling this code. So there are no errors and warnings in the program. Now I am executing this code and I am entering SA in capital letter, NJ in small letter, then digits and spatial symbols. So you can see that I have entered two uppercase, two lowercase, two digits and two spatial symbols. So uh, output is also uh, uh, saying this that uppercase letters are 2, lowercase are 2, digits are 2 and spatial symbols are 2. So uh, again remember that uh, null is not counted uh, in any uh, uh, variety. Uh, uh, it is not uppercase, it is not lowercase, it is not digit or it is not spatial symbol. So null is only used to indicate the termination of string. So before null character whatever character is available will be counted uh, in various categories so uh, implement this code in your laptop or desktop so that you can understand the working behind it 
and it is a very simple program you can also replace this ascii code with the characters you can write uh, capital a instead of 65 and you can write capital z instead of 90 so uh, similar to this you can also replace 97 with small a 122 with small z 48 with 0 and 57 with 9 so if you uh, do not remember the ascii codes you can also use the character constants uh, enclosing in single quotes so do implement this code now these are my details uh, my contact number you can uh, call me or you can write any query on my email id i will help you out you can visit my website you can download my app techms uh, from google play store it contains tutorials about c c++ java php ethical hacking etc you can also download pptes from this link tutorials.techmes.in it is available on my website you can read various books regarding various programming languages you can watch my youtube channel uh, to learn various programming uh, related videos thank you for watching this video